Craig T. Mullen. Paul, with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing, first of all, from New York City, weighing in tonight at 231 pounds, Terry Mecca. His tag team partner, heading from Italy, weighing in tonight at 247 pounds, Gino Brito. And now entering the ring, ladies and gentlemen, with a combined weight of 567 pounds, they are the IWA World Tag Team Champions, Polo and Gino Lamongo. IWA Tag Team Champions, the Mongols, Gito, and Beppo Mongol, along with their manager, George Cannon. They'll take on the combination of Gino Brito and Terry Mika out of New York City. Lufez, what is there, what can you say about the likes of the Mongols? Well, the Mongols have wrestled all over the world. I've seen them in various parts of the world. And the fellas really know what they're doing. They're very big, very strong, very rough. In fact, they have some Japanese uh, uh, insignias on them now. That's where they were recently, apparently. Um, it's the leading tag team in the world, of course. They're the champions. And uh, I think it's a wonderful thing the way IWA has garnered the fantastic talent that they have. They have seemed to uh, been able to handle the financial end of it and, and, and take care and, and, and surround themselves with outstanding wrestlers. And I think they should really be accredited for that. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of six world heavyweight champion Lou Fez. There are the belts right now. The belts being shown, the coveted IWA tag team belt. From the champion the Mongols. Your referee for this spot is Tommy Young. There's the bell, and this match is officially underway. It'll be Kito Mongol going against Gino Brigo. One for all 15 minute time limit. Don't forget coming up a double main event. The mighty evil and Eric the Red will go at it. And then you'll see the big guy, Ernie Ladd, taking on Nelson Royal. Lou, I'm sure that many a time you've had the opportunity of watching the Mongols in action. Yes, I have. I ran into them in India, also in Japan. Uh, the fellas are not too well thought of in some areas, but they're certainly respected. Well, they are the champions. They are, they're excessively rough, and that's what I was referring to. Sometimes you resort to tactics that really shouldn't be permitted, but a referee cannot see everything, and they are very, very fine competitors. Good takeover by Gino Brito. Brito's a fine bar. young wrestler. There's the manager, George Cannon. Rick Martin, a ring announcer, referred to him as General George Cannon. I'll have to find out. Tag came from. Look at the expression on the face of General George Cannon. Well, this Mongols throw the fellas off on the, the supposed spin there. It's so strong. They do have the teamwork. We must admit it. There's four double teaming going on. Boy, they do that so well. Big knee to the midsection. And this young man is hurt. Jerry Mecca is hurt. In there. The big boot of Vito Mongo waiting for Terry Mecca in their corner. There's Cannon. There's a whip. Another knee to the midsection. They are very aggressive, these big fellows. Vito Mongo right now. And there comes Gino Brito. Brito's in there, but referee Tommy Young's running him out. And the fans don't like it one bit. Double team by the Mongols. Well, they enable them to double up there. Brito did try. They're using their boots rather well this evening. They certainly do. Rough shot. There's another boot. This time by Beppo. This young man is hurt. He's been stunned by the double teaming package to the Mongols. There's a bear hug. Tremendous strength for that has a lot of power. It certainly does. Oh. Off the that top, trying to that ring rope. Here he comes again. 